These are everyday clothes that you might consider buying, or maybe you already have and you wear them. And I think they just look very cheap. So I'm going to share what I think you could wear instead. And I just also wanna say, like, I'm just, I'm a nobody, okay? Like, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm no fashion expert. So if you love something, you should still wear it. Up first, we have this Amazon sweater, which it, I mean, it looks cool. It looks nice. I love it. I ordered it. If you watch any of my videos, I mean, you know, I recommend a lot of Amazon fashion because I can find a lot of really nice pieces for amazing prices. But with that comes so many failures, so many duds, and this one takes the cake. So this is what this actually looks like when I got it. There's so many things wrong here. I mean, where do we even begin? I'm going to point out some clear characteristics. Uh, first off, it's a size small. You wouldn't know that. It's hanging off of me. It's ridiculous. One side is actually longer than the other and that's not on purpose. The sleeves are so long. I have no idea how one would even wear this. The seams at the, the neckline, you can kind of like see them sticking out when really they should be covered up by the turtleneck. There's just so many things wrong with this sweater. So I just wanted you to know um, that that's kind of how this video was born and I have so many other things to share. The second cheap characteristic that I often see on clothes or I'll see people wearing out and about are big buttons on cardigans or sweaters. And this is interesting because this isn't really like a, a cheap thing that brands do to cut corners because some of these things are because of that. This probably costs the same as just regular buttons um, or no buttons, you know what I mean? It's actually probably more expensive to add buttons, but it has this weird clown-like appearance to me. I just think it cheapens the, the sweater or the cardigan or really anything when the buttons are more the focal point than the actual clothing piece. So this is a simple, simple fix. I would say just maybe make sure the buttons kind of more blend in. Maybe they're a similar color. Maybe they're a bit smaller and you're good to go. Now this next one is something that brands do to cut corners, to save money, to make it just actually cheaper. And I think there's a lot of people that kind of like it out of convenience, but oh man, it's just not good. It's, it's pull on jeans or pull on pants. It's almost like a pull on diaper. Like there's no zippers, there's no pockets, there's no buttons. I just really don't like it. And it's, it's I don't see it all the time, but I still see it. And, and there's so many really good brands that sell these. Don't buy them. <laughs> okay, we're sticking with jeans just for a little bit because I have a few cheap characteristics to look for when you're buying jeans. So next we have white stitching or white seams on jeans. I think this looks very cheap. Now this all started back in like 2007 or 2008 with the Miss Me jeans from Buckle. Do you guys remember those jeans? Comment down below if you remember those jeans. I splurged on a pair of $90 Miss Me jeans from Buckle. They were beautiful. The butt was embellished with, with it was a bedazzled butt. Like I, you can still get the jeans to this day. I think they're extremely outdated. However, I have now noticed that sometimes brands kind of piggyback off of this trend and they will use white stitching. And I feel like it's just, it just cheapens the entire pair of jeans because they're not taking the time to kind of match the stitching or the seams to to the jeans or to, to that color so that it blends better. It's just, it's just the cheaper route to take. This next one, I feel like I've never heard anyone even mention or ever talk about, am I the only one that has ever noticed this? But it is light wash jeans with a yellow cast. At, like it's it's so subtle though. It's so subtle. It's gonna be really hard for me to even kind of point this out to you on video. It's something that next time you're at a department store or I'm, and I'm even talking like more, more affordable stores like maybe Walmart, TJ Maxx, Ross Dress for Less. Like I see it when they're just, they're just cheap jeans and they're trying to be light wash and they have this yellow cast to them. That is, it just screams cheap to me because it is, because really good denim, it's just more of a true color. And so there's these pairs of jeans. Uh, th this is a designer pair of jeans, a darker wash. You clearly see that yellow cast. That's not exactly what I'm trying to talk about. It's not really what I'm referring to. Um, I don't love that. It looks very dirty to me, but it's more light wash that I'm referring to. So here are some that to me have a much truer, real blue jean hue. But yeah, be on the lookout for the yellow cast and comment down below if you have any recollection of what I'm talking about. This is the last jean thing and then we're moving on. But this next characteristic is more on you and me, not necessarily the brand. Maybe, maybe I take that back, maybe it is. But it's when you wear skinny jeans, but they're bunched up 
at the ankle. Like this looks so bad. And, and I'm not even knocking skinny jeans. You know, there's the big debate, are they in style? Are they out of style? Who the heck knows? But what I do know is this looks very, cheap to me. And I, I guess I know why it happens in a way, maybe it is the brand's fault because they just make skinny jeans and really all jeans to fit the masses. So people that are average to short, they're just too long. And so the way to combat this is to go to a tailor, which who, the, who wants to do that? I rarely do that. It's very annoying. The other little trick that I've actually learned is I'm 5'5". Five five, so I'm very average in height. And so for a lot of denim, I'm actually starting to order shorts, not shorts but like the length is short and those are actually starting to fit me perfect. So you could try that if you're very average. If you're tall, you could actually order regulars instead of tall. If you're short, you're out of luck. It's just, it's annoying. It's very annoying, um, but yeah, definitely a cheap characteristic. Super quick, if you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing down below. It's totally free. Okay, so I have more specific clothes to get to, but I wanna jump to purses, handbags, really anything with faux leather, but I'm not knocking faux leather. Faux leather has come a long way. I have so much faux leather that looks so real. It looks great. The coloring is perfect. I love the, the texture of it, but there are a few specific kinds that are so bad. And the first time I really opened my eyes to this was when I ordered this darn Amazon toiletry bag. Okay, so I'm gonna put the footage here because I've already donated it. I actually ended up ordering this toiletry bag in pink because I could not stand this orange color. I know some people love orange, but I was going for camel. Okay, like a nice, rich camel brown color. This is just orange. And so I've now noticed that some brands that you know, are kind of cheap, they will try to make a camel purse or a camel handbag and it just looks orange. So uh, just keep that in mind. Maybe you order something and then you get it and you're like, oh, I guess this is okay. But if, if again, if it looks orange, I think you should return it. Another characteristic you should look for in faux leather is if it's just super shiny. I think super shiny faux leather looks very, very fake. There's this bag that is faux leather, but if you notice, there's kind of a pebbled texture to it. This is a very, affordable tote bag, but it looks very realistic. All right, we're back to clothes. So this next cheap characteristic is exposed zippers. So hear me out. A lot of clothing pieces need zippers and sometimes the zippers are kind of like an edgy characteristic and I guess that can kind of be a style. I still think it looks cheap but to each their own. But I guess I'm more referring to say a dress or a skirt, for example. It's very cheap to me when you can just see the zipper in the back or you see the zipper along the side. Really good dresses or you know good styles will hide the zipper. Hopefully you guys know what I'm trying to say. It just elevates the whole piece. It makes it look so much better and more expensive. But speaking of dresses or skirts, that leads me to the next one that I am so guilty of. I've worn this so much. I've recommended this probably, like I've recommended similar pieces to this, but it's, it's long dresses like this, like a long dress or skirt, but there's a built-in slip underneath that you can see halfway down. This is everywhere. I see it everywhere. That's how I even noticed it. I saw someone else wearing it and I was like, well, that's kind of weird. Like, why don't they make the slip the just like to fit the whole dress? Like, why does it stop halfway down? It, it, it's cheap looking. It's very cheap looking. I think the way to combat this would be to wear a longer slip yourself underneath so that the dress looks more cohesive and not like half, half opaque, half translucent, like, you know, so like there's ways you can do to get around it, but it's still a, a cheap looking dress. Oh, and I'm not even referring to this. Like, I just wanna clarify, there are certain dresses like this, where it's the actual style on purpose, where the skirt is there or the dress is there, but there's a sheer overlay on top. Again, that is on purpose. This, that's not on purpose. This next one I'm kind of torn about, so you can sound off in the comments down below. Let me know your opinion. It is, a stretchy section on clothes or a tie waist. Now, I don't think either of these really looks that bad. In fact, I, I'm probably still going to continue to buy pieces like this. However, it is something to keep in mind. It definitely is a cheap characteristic that brands do, so they really don't have to, 
you know, pay that much attention to specific sizing, like a two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, you know what I mean? They can just add on this stretchy material section so that it just stretches to conform or, you know, fit the person better. It's just a shortcut. I don't think it's that bad. There's a lot of dresses that I have. There's tops that I have that it does this. And I think it actually is really flattering but it also is a, is a, it's a little cheap. And I will just say, I, I actually prefer the stretchy section compared to a tie waist because the tie waist, there's usually those annoying strings and it, that to me looks, that's just not my favorite, but I know everyone has their own preference. So let me know, let me know what you think down below. Now you should check out this video next where I share some amazing Amazon fall fashion pieces. This is in the video, I love this. Everything is very affordable, but it doesn't look cheap. So I'll see you over there.